Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about AWS CloudWatch Alarm. Before CloudWatch Alarm, I would like to explain why monitoring is important. It is, it is very important to monitor your application that is running in production. To make sure that your services are always online, your application is secured for your customers and to monitor the resultant performance and cost of your application and to troubleshoot because we have to avoid the existing errors. Let me show you a picture and explain a little bit about monitoring. For example, if you are running a, an online shopping website, okay, your product is already available online, people are, start, customers have started using it. So maybe you have, you have used uh, AWS services to build your product. For example, API Gateway, Lambda, Dynamo, DB, S3, SQS. So some of the services you, you have used, for example, and you build your online shopping product. Initially, there won't be much customers, but once the customer started using your product and they really liked it and the customer count is growing, okay, in that case, there will be more load in your product. So we have to monitor the monitor the system that is running in the production behind the scene. Otherwise, what will happen when the customer count is more, is increasing, the product might not be able to handle the request and the customer might have a bad experience from the product. So we have to monitor, we have to see how the response time is because initially we might have planned for the plan or designed the product for two seconds, the response time of the latency two seconds to five seconds. But what if it takes 10 seconds for the customer, the customer might leave your website, they might go to a different website for shopping. So it is very, very important to monitor all the services or the complete product behind the scene. That's why monitoring is very important for your growth for, of your business. So I've explained to you why monitoring is important. Let's see what is CloudWatch. Amazon CloudWatch is a solution provided by Amazon to assist to, it, it helps you to monitor all the services that you are using in AWS. CloudWatch collects monitoring and operational data in the form of logs, metrics, and events, and provides an excellent view to, to, to know or understand what's happening for, your, for all your services in AWS. And CloudWatch alarm, we can also, we can create a CloudWatch alarm for a specific metric for an AWS service. There are different types of metric types. For example, latency. Latency, uh, if, for example, if you have created a, a, an API gateway and you have, you have designed it for two seconds or five seconds response time, two, two to five seconds response time, but in the production, if it takes eight seconds, we have to monitor it. If it goes beyond 10 seconds, we have to monitor it because it, it, it affects our customers. And if there are any errors in your Lambda or EC2 instance, request count is reducing. If the storage space is like limited and it's going to exhaust, then we have to monitor the storage space in your in your EC2 instance. <clears throat> then CPU utilization, SQS, number of messages sent and received. What is the problem? Is there any problem we need to check? And SNS also published and delivered. So for each service, there are different types of metrics we can monitor. And not only CloudWatch can help you to create an alarm, you can also attach an action whenever an alarm happens. For example, uh, there is an alarm for ACT instance, the load is more, CPU utilization is more, we can auto scale it, like we can attach one more, we can, we can spin up one more ACT instance. So for, for an alarm, we can attach an action as well, or you can also set up a SNS topic to send an email and also to send an email to your DevOps team to know what's happening for your services in AWS. You can define certain threshold for three conditions. OK, OK means like the metric is within the threshold and alarm means like the metric has crossed the threshold and insufficient data means we are not able to, uh, there is no enough data available to determine the alarm state. Okay, that's mean, that, that's what it means, insufficient data. Okay, let me show you the picture and explain you again. Okay. So we can create a CloudWatch alarm to monitor any of the services based on some metric. 
So as I told you, API Gateway, I want to monitor the latency, for example. So if it goes beyond five seconds, the response time is five seconds, more than five seconds, this will send an alarm to the, uh, to the DevOps team. So we can subscribe, uh, we can uh, set up an email address, so it will send an email with all the alarm details, okay? So the customer is using our product and the risk latency is more than CloudWatch monitors that and sends an alarm okay and devops team can debug on that like what's happening in the service why it takes more time is there any delay in the network or is the, is there any problem within the application itself okay so that's how the cloud watch alarm works in aws so i'm going to show you an example here i've created a, a lambda you can see my first lambda which is written in node.js a very simple lambda here what I've done is like a very simple Node.js application which throws, whenever I trigger this Lambda, it's going to throw an error which has some message like CloudWatch Alarm Demo. This is for the demo purpose I've created and I'm going to hit for a while. Okay, then it's going to throw an error and I've already created an alarm. So you can see a CloudWatch and I click on this. This is one of the service in AWS. So when I click on this, you can see alarm so i'm going to click on this you can see the details of the alarm so alarm for error in lambda so i triggered the lambda it had an it had an error so immediately an alarm alarm has been raised and it also sent a notification to me through an email so you can see here action what is the action i attached to this alarm send message to topic and to this email address okay And we can also see in the metrics i want to show you the metrics so that you can see like how many times it happened for the last three hours so 2 25 and 3 o'clock and 3 20 and here 3 30 and 3 40 as well so these are the error counts that happened for this lambda so we can create an alarm and take action on on this lambda so I'm going to show you how to create an alarm just for example. So select the metric, I, as I told you, like the, there are different types of metrics, default metrics. So I'm going to take the Lambda example and I want to, by function name, I'm going to click on error. I can also check for the duration. So when I say error, it will select, it will, it will monitor the error counts and this portion is very important. I can give the name for this alarm description and this is very important this is where i say whenever there is an error count five or one whatever it is like whatever you you think whenever the error count is one then immediately send a notification to me and this is the action that we want to attach with this alarm okay so i have said to send an email to me i'm going to show you the email as well i got a email here so here so here you can see the complete detail it says like, you are receiving this email because your cl amazon cloud watch alarm has entered alarm state okay and it, it uh, the threshold crossed so i told you like i was watching a lambda uh, whenever an error happens this cloud watch matrix monitors this lambda whenever there is an error happens it sends immediately an email to me okay so that's what I just now explained to you. So I've covered uh, most of the questions I've written here. The last one is what is CloudWatch custom metrics? We talked about um, the default metrics, which is available in AWS. What if you want to have uh, your custom metrics? For example, you have an application, you want to see like whenever, whenever a customer launched this page, I want to send a metric. I want to calculate how many people are coming to my application and, and leaving at this particular time. Okay. So you want to just monitor your application and it's not available in the AWS default in the default metrics. So what you can do is like from your application, you, there are APIs available in AWS CloudWatch APIs from your application. You can call those APIs and send custom metrics and then once you send the custom metrics, you can watch or you can uh, you can see those custom metrics in the CloudWatch and you can monitor it. Okay, so this is also possible in AWS CloudWatch. 
so this is the agenda i had in my mind so if you have any other questions please post the post in the comment section if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to share with your friends please share please subscribe to subscribe to my channel because i'm going to post more technical videos all the best for your career and thank you for your time